Hello, and thanks so much for joining us today. In this video, we're going to be talking about farming um, polished pet charms to acquire the new pet that's going to be coming in 9.1, the Flawless Amethyst Bobble Worm. Um, what's going to happen in 9.1 is this pet vendor here, Keeper to Holt, is going to offer for sale um, several different varieties of the Bobble Worm, and uh, most of them are available with grays. To, to purchase, but one of them is uh, going to be available to purchase with 10,000 polished pet charms. And for those of you um, like myself who um, have been using those polished pet charms, you may not necessarily ha sitting, be, be sitting on a stockpile of them. Um, so it's going to take a little time to farm those. So we're going to talk about how to go about farming those polished pet charms and stocking up to be able to acquire the, uh, the new flawless amethyst bobble worm in 9.1. So the first way, probably the, the most effective, uh, fastest way, is to uh, acquire these polished pet charms through the pet battles. So if you go to your map and you open up uh, Shadowlands, each one of these four continents, if you will, um, will have a pet battle against a master pet tra tamer daily. And if you find it on your pet uh, on your map, it'll show up as a paw, and then you just hover over it, and you'll see whatever the um, that particular pet battle is awarding for a successful completion of that of that uh, quest. This one's uh, providing a marked flawless battle stone. So if it's not providing a polished pet charm, and that's all you're looking for, then just go to the next uh, location. You see, this one is um, a battle training stone. You go to Bastion, and you see this one's providing 13 polished pet charms. They can vary. From as low as say 10 or 12 or 13 to as high as 20. If you go to Maldraxxus, which I like because all of the uh, pet battles are very near flight paths in Maldraxxus, this one's offering 16. So those are four that are available in Shadowlands. If you go to Azeroth, you can go to Kul Tiras, and you, you can go to each one of these zones and there's a pet battle occasionally that opens up, usually it's daily, in each one of these zones that also have a chance of providing a uh, polished pet charm for an award. I don't see the, the pet battle in this particular zone. Um, I don't see one in this particular zone. There's one here that's offering a training stone. Uh, there's, let's look at Najatar. This one's a, a, a battle stone. Oops. Um, go to Mechagon. Uh, there's one in Mechagon today. Um, so I'll go over and do that one. And then you can also check Pandaria and the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. You can check there. And today there's a, uh, one that's offering 14. You can also check down in Oldoom. Uh, this particular uh, pet battle here uh, is capable of dropping a polished pet charm, so you just scan over and see if it's providing that today. Um, those are what's available in um, in uh, Azeroth. You can also go down to Zandalar. Zandalar is the last uh, region. Um, all three zones in Zandalar have a chance. Their pet battles have a chance of dropping polished pet charms. I don't see. Sometimes there's two here in this zone. Um, there's one here that's providing a training stone, so that's not um, available today in Polished Pet Charms. And then there's sometimes one down here. Uh, I, don't, I don't see one uh, here today. But you just scan through there and check and see which one of those pet battles are offering Polished Pet Charms. And um, you can get uh, a, a lot of pe Polished Pet Charms simply by doing those battles. Now let's go over and look at uh, the last two ways that I farm Polished Pet Charms. Okay, so here we are over at the command table. Um, this is uh, one of the ways that I acquire polished pet charms. I'm over here in, in Sinfall, in uh, Revendreth, but you just go to whatever, uh, where, whatever area you are in and go to your command table. And um, you simply right click on the command table and you'll have the various quests up that um, are available at that time. I actually already did a couple of um, quests this morning that uh, required or that awarded polished pet charms. Um, but this is definitely a good way to do it. There are um, uh, quests in here that uh, award um, 10 to 12, say, uh, pet, polished pet charms, but there's also um, quests that award uh, much greater, I think as high as 20 I've seen. And there's two or three sometimes available at one time. So there have been days where I've received 40 to 60 polished pet charms just from the command table alone. And then there's other days where there are no quests with polished pet charms up, but those are pretty rare. There's usually at least one, sometimes as many as three or four um, up at the same time. Um, so this is uh, one way to acquire the polished pet charms. The last way that I farm pet Polish Pet Charms is from the uh, Mission Command Table over in Boralus Harbor. So if you uh, don't know exactly where that is, I'm, I'm over here in Kul Tiras. Um, 
in uh, Morales Harbor at the, at the command at the mission command table. So occasionally there'll be a polished pet charm pop up as a reward for a mission. I don't even have any ava uh, missions available right now, but you'll see a list of them here, just like you would from your command table at your covenant, and you would see the war various awards that would be provided or offered if you successfully complete that. And um, it's not you don't get a lot of them, but um, it's you know worth going over and checking it and, and getting it because it you don't doesn't require much time. You just put your uh, followers on it and then you check back when the mission's over and if it's successful then they, you're awarded those pet charms. So those are the three ways, the two, the two mission command tables and then the uh, quests against the uh, pet master pet tamers. There are some single uh, pet charm awards from some, uh, from some quests that you can get it just once on each character. I don't really do those as a farm. Um, obviously, you, it's not a, technically it's not a farm unless you have multiple characters, and then you can only do it once. So, um, I don't I don't bother with those. I simply uh, run the dailies um, on the pet battles, and then I check the command tables and keep those going um, every time I see a polished pet charmer for an award, and uh, that's the way I do it. So the maximum on the best possible day you could get is um, probably somewhere a little less than 200 pet charms, but realistically. Um, on an average day, um, I'll get between 100 and 150 pet charms on just an average day with the average command tables and the average, you know, random uh, quest rewards. So, you know, 100 to 150 a day, you're looking, if you do those every day, you're looking at two to three months if you start from zero pet, pet charms um, to complete the, the, the total 10,000 needed to purchase the, the new pet. So that's what I would expect, probably somewhere around three months if you did them every day. And um, you should be able to get enough to to purchase the flawless amethyst, amethyst bobble worm. So, if you found this information useful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for future content. We really appreciate everybody watching, and we will see everyone in the next video.